everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well so i'm going to be doing a weekend vlog like spend the weekend with me but it's going to be very festive because bonfire night is over halloween is over so it is literally full-on christmas mode i'm going to be doing a few christmasy things to get me in the spirit even though my tree downstairs is actually already up that's been up two days now because we just get so excited in this family like it's ridiculous today i'm going to nottingham with my nana and my granddad which will be fun i'm not sure if i'll film anything because i do want to spend time with them and also if it's busy i don't really want to be filming in public like, I still need to get over my fear a little bit more. But we'll see. And in Nottingham, we're literally just walking around. So I'll be back about lunchtime anyway. And then it's time to get in the Christmas spirit. I'm going to decorate my room with Christmas stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the vlog. And let's go to Nottingham. I might actually give you an OOTD. I'm not changed yet, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm in boots and I've got a meal deal. I've got a duck wrap and a caramel shortbread. And then I'm trying to pick out these smoothies. And I have no idea what to get. I think I'm going to go for the orange juice or the zips. This is quite nice, but I, I don't know what I want. Decisions, but Boots meal deals are absolutely amazing. Got to recommend. So I'm back from Nottingham and I thought I'd do a little haul. I've literally got three things. Really not the most interesting things either, but I'm going to give you a haul anyway. So obviously I went into Primark and... The first thing I got was a Christmas jumper. I literally could not help myself. And it's this, hang on, so it says, what does it say on it? Happy holidays, and it's got Mickey on it. And that is what sold it to me. I was like, I saw the Mickey and I was like, wow, like that is for me. And it was 16 pounds. What size did I get it in? A medium. And it's really good quality and I'm gonna, put that on in a minute because I'm just, I'm so in the Christmas spirit. And then after I'd seen this, I went into like the actual Christmas section and I saw this and I'm sorry, I just, I couldn't resist. How cute is this for Madge? It's a pet outfit. It's a little pet out elf outfit. How cute. This was six pounds. I was just like, my dog is my best friend. So obviously I've got to get it her and I'm going to put it on her in a minute and I'll show you what she looks like with it on. I cannot wait, but she actually has a Santa one, but it's kind of like, she's had it a couple of years and she needed a new one. So I treated her. And then we just went into m and and I got some Percy Pigs and these are the, the Christmas ones. I don't know if they're like a different flavour. Uh, no, I don't think they are. I think they're still the same, but they've got like little Santa hats on and I love Percy Pigs. So those are the three things I got from Nottingham and I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm going to go and put this outfit on Madge and show you because it'll be so funny. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure she hates me right now. But how cute is this? You ready Madge? Oh my goodness. How cute. Look. And then it's got like the little, the little pants. So cute. She definitely hates me but she's keeping it on. She's not too bad. Like she's laying down now. But I'm gonna take it off her until December because it'll get wrecked but how cute that was such a good buy hi so obviously I said that today I was going to like decorate my room with Christmas decorations and whatever but I'm not because I have had a little bit of a down day I've just been relaxing we also got back from Nottingham a lot later than expected and I've been to fetch Tesco shopping I've been doing my room and tonight I'm just gonna have tea we're having steak and chips and then I'm gonna sit down with my family and watch Strictly Come Dancing, which I cannot, cannot wait. It's getting so good. And then tomorrow I will actually decorate my room with Christmas stuff. I've got a few other things to do. So I guess I'll just see you in the morning. So it is the next day and I'm going to be decorating. I say decorating my room. I'm really not, I'm literally putting up a Christmas tree and adding one little decoration. I do have quite a few things like Christmas things I want to put in my room, but they are up in the loft and I don't know up there. I'm not going to send my mum up there right now. We're just going to have to deal with just putting up the tree today. I have got this cute little, little polar bear with a little Santa hat on and he always goes next to my tree. And then I've got a huge bag of like tinsel, lights, um, baubles that all go on my tree. And then I do have my Christmas tree and it's this colour. This isn't the whole tree. There's loads of like little bits that go with it. But it's like a, 
I wouldn't say it's white, but it's like, it is white. It looks like a, what your hair looks like when you've got purple shampoo in. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, actually it's like a blue colour. I don't know what you'd class it as. Somehow I've got to put this together. I don't really know how you do it, but I did it last year, so I should be all right. I'm just going to do a huge time lapse, and I mean huge time lapse, lapse of me putting this up, and I'm going to put some non-copyright Christmas music over it all. I'm going to see if I can find some spare tinsel, because I want some tinsel to like hang above my bed, so we'll see. <laughs> glitter everywhere on my floor right now that it's just everywhere i don't know how i'm gonna clean it up but i'm just going to show you my two favorite they're not baubles like things ornaments they're on the tree so my first favorite are these the ballet slippers ballet shoes don't know why but i said ballet slippers who do i think i am yeah ballet shoes my mum got me these it's so so cute so i'm gonna put them like near the top yeah that looks nice and then this one this is what's making the glitter go everywhere i've got a few like this it's a unicorn a pink unicorn and i actually got this two years ago when i had my operation i went to see my dance people people from my dance school and they got me like a bag of stuff they got me a balloon they got me a card and this was one of the things in it because my dance teacher is very close with my mum and she knew that my Christmas tree theme was going to be pink and silver so she got me this and it's really really cute I don't really know where to put it because it's quite heavy so it will like bring the tree down but yeah my tree's pretty much finished now I'm just going to put it in my corner set everything else up and then I will show you what it looks like because you can't see the front this is the side I don't actually put much at the back or the side because all you see is the front, so it doesn't really matter. You can see me in the mirror, but I'm just going to show you the finished product. So we'll start from the top. I've got an angel, which I've always had on my tree. And I've got loads of baubles. I've got the ballet shoes. Got a few other baubles. Um, zoom out a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not very full, but I don't actually have that many things to put on there's a present somewhere yeah there's a present there got some dragonflies got some angel wings i love the angel wings we've got a glass slipper down there uh, more baubles and then to the side i've got my polar bear which is so soft and then i've got this cute little penguin and then this light here it actually lights up it's not like a proper candle it's like a one that's run by batteries so this is what it looks like and i app absolutely love it so it is a little bit later on and i'm about to go to my dad's and at my dad's we're going to see some fireworks i don't know whether we're actually standing on the back garden because you can see them from there or going to the actual place i'm not too sure but either way i'm going to be filming a bit of the fireworks for you and we're also going to have them like i keep calling them sprinklers but they're really not sprinklers i think it's like sparklers and you light them and you're like you know what I mean. If you're from the UK, you should know what I mean. So yeah, not really an interesting night, but just a little bit to film. Still very festive, even though bonfire night was two nights ago. I've been hearing fireworks all week, so it's not like it's over yet. Enjoy what I end up filming. <laughs>
Okay, so it is now Monday and I know this was supposed to be a weekend vlog, but it's now a weekend vlog plus Monday, but it just means more content for you. But tonight I am going to the gym. What a shock, always at the gym. However, I haven't been for a week. I haven't been since last Monday and that is not like me at all. I just, I've been busy and then I can't be bothered. Story of my life, but I just, I use the excuse of don't push yourself if you don't want to go, don't go. But yeah, I'm going to the gym and then I'll be back home and I'm going to do something very, very exciting when I get home. I'm really excited, but I'm not gonna let you in on what it is. I'm gonna make you wait because I am so nice. So yes, let's go to the gym. I can't wait. I'm actually really ready to go to the gym. Really ready. I've missed it and it's been a week. back from the gym and it's getting quite late it's about eight o'clock but i am about to do something very very exciting i'm actually about to laminate my eyebrows and i have never done this before in my life i've never even gone to like a professional to get my eyebrows laminated because they're really thick and like with my soap brows they just like I don't know, just never got them laminated, but I was kindly sent a lamination kit by Sassy Saints on Instagram and they gifted me this last week. So I thought I'd give it a try. This is not sponsored, so I'm not being paid to say like good things about this brand. So it is all my own opinions. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be really good. I think it's like a six step, a six step thing. I think it's only supposed to take like 20 minutes, but can we just appreciate the packaging? Like the package, it's just amazing. It's so aesthetic. Um, inside it comes with it's like a newspaper thing. It's really cool. And then this just like a little insert. I'm not sure if the instructions come on this. I love the smell of the newspaper. It's literally the best thing ever. So I've got the instructions. I've not actually like thoroughly looked at this. So it comes with like. So this is the inside. Right, hang on. That's the inside, and then. In this little box, it comes with like the, what's it called? Oh my God, I don't know what it's called. Um, Let's come back to that, cotton wool pads. I think, I don't know what they are. I oh know, they're cotton, cotton buds. And then they're like, they, they look like lip gloss sticks. And then like the spoolies, or so, cellof not cellophane. I don't know what it's called guys, damn it. Cling film, cling film. It's called cling film, I remembered. And then it's got like all the different steps. It says that the first step I have to apply this, it's called like stick it, which it actually has the numbers on. That's really helpful. And I've just got to like put this all over my eyebrows and then just like brush them with the spoolie like you normally would. So I have done that and then I have to put this on. It's called Shape It and I have to put it on with one of these lip gloss things. It wasn't open. Um, oh, that's weird. So it's to like do this and then I have to put the cling film over the top. If this goes wrong or well, like they don't look nice, I'm genuinely going to be gutted. Because it's supposed to be so good like... Um, Sydney May Crouch used this so if she's used it then then it must be good right I look beautiful with this on it's not very tight maybe I should hold it like this 
give myself a facelift and then it says oh i think i have to keep this on for like 10 minutes yeah i do it says for thick brows 12 minutes but am i thick maybe hmm so it is time to take this off mm -hmm. and i've got to wipe any excess whatever she was on about off with this it's actually a lot on there i i know i put way too much on and now i have to apply fix it which is step number three you apply this and put some more cling film on and i don't think you're bothered about seeing me put this on so see you when the ugly cling film is on my face <laughs> we are now on the last of the steps so i am about to take this cling film off all I have to do now is take that cling film off and then I have to clean it with, believe it or not, the stage that says clean it with this cotton wool pad. Oh, I don't know how much to put on. Ooh. And then I have to get this, which is boost it, which is step number five. So actually it's five step. It's not six step. So uh, I get this and again just put it all over my eyebrows, what a shock. And then after this, all I have to do is brush through them with a spoolie and set them. And then they are done, which is very exciting. But it does literally just look like I've done soap brows, however I did cut my eyebrows short and it's lost the shape like what what is that and because i cut them short some of the eyebrows are shorter than others and then i just go through like this and it sets it so that is my eyebrows done and a big thank you to sassy saints for sending me the brow lamination kit i'm actually I really, really like them. And that last bit is actually giving this eyebrow shape, which is amazing. But I am gonna end the video here because again, last minute, need to edit this tonight and get it up for tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any other videos. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.